have the cell phone charger, which is putting on five volts right here. It's a one, one and a half volt battery in here, but not five volts. If you notice, I had hooked directly to these four lights here. They're um, lights, and each one is like 120 volts LEDs, and they're all hooked in series. Notice they're not lit with 5 volts directly with 5 volts. Okay, so now let's do this. They're not lit. I'll take it loose here, take it loose here, and I'll take this. Let me get these wires untangled a little bit. There we go. Set this over here for the time being. And I'll hook this up to the Bedini setup and a coil. I'm always afraid I'm going to get shocked. Well, I'm nervous. But I'm okay now. Alright, now, got it hooked up. Nothing's, nothing's happening right now. That's the key right there. A little magnet right there. Now watch what happens here. Here's here's a cell phone charger. Same thing. I didn't. It has a fresh battery in here. Okay. So now I'll hook it up to the Bedini coil. There's my positive. There's my negative. Now that's hooked up. This is the input to the Bedini coil. This is the output. From the Bedini coil and box. Okay, input, output. Okay, so notice the lights are still not lit. Okay, now we go over here and we do this. This is the energizer, I call it. I spin it. Here we go. Watch this. Here we go, folks. They're all lighting up. I'm not going to do the math on this or anything like that. All I'm going to tell you is something's going on. And if you want to call this over unity, if you don't want to call it over unity, that's up to you. But as far as I'm concerned, you saw that I had it hooked up to this by itself. The lights were hooked up to this with 5 volts. They didn't do a thing. Okay? And I got the same 5 volts going into here, and they're coming out here. And by, oh, by the way, if I put my finger across here, I'm going to get 77 volts for my finger because that's exactly what I measured before. 77 volts are across these with a fresh bit with a fresh battery in this here with AA battery, 1.5 volts. I'm getting 77 volts across there. That's why I'm a little nervous when I pull them wires. I try to discharge them, but I have got stung, and I'll get 77 volts, and it will will shock you. Okay, so so you say, okay, what's happening? Well. The capacitors hold the charge, I know that, but I could discharge those capacitors, no problem at all. And I should do that by shortening these two wires out when I got the thing off, when I got this thing off. But, and I do that, and sometimes I forget and that's when I get nailed. Anyways, um, so what's, what's, why is it working? It's not working off of 5 volts, it's using this to pick up extra energy. The only thing that's, in, and there's no other batteries here, by the way, nothing. This is the only thing that's working, this whole thing. Only thing I can figure is that magnet, somehow or other, I call it the energizer, like the energizer bunny, I guess. That energizer, as long as that thing's spinning, this thing works. Okay, and it keeps on spinning. It will spin until I actually take the power loose right here, and I'm going to show you that in a minute. This is how I'm going to take the power loose right here. I'm going to take this loose. Watch the lamps. I'll just try to. Get these lamps here and try to get them up here so they don't fall. Uh, maybe I'll just try, I'll try to do this. Uh, I'm not too, too well for this. Anyways, you know, hopefully it'll stay right there for a while anyhow. Now I'm going to take this loose. I'm going to reach over here. I'm going to dis disconnect it here. And I'm going to disconnect it here. Totally disconnected, folks. My lamps, lamps are still lit. There you go. 
it'll stay like that for a while. But what's happening is there's a reserve of electricity built up in those caps there that are powering that lamps right there. Eventually they'll go they'll go down without no power. And I don't want it, like I said before, you don't want to touch these wires or you will get nailed by it. And right now it's 77 volts and it's diminishing as we speak. Okay, so say okay, what do we do again? Let's do this again. I'll get this up here, put my positive up there. I'll put my negative back up here, like so. And let's spool this up again. There we go. There's Charlie. Now we're back in business again. All in one and a half volts. So, if you're interested in make me an offer on this, think about what I just told you. This could be over unity. Like I say, I don't know. The power is coming from somewhere. There's one and a half volts powering this whole setup. Five volts over here normally from the, this, this charger. And the rest of the power is being extracted. Your guess is as good as mine. The, the magnet's the only thing that has a power field around it. And that supplies power to charges the caps. So something's happening. And I'm not going to do any more math equations and stuff. I'm sick and tired of it. All I can do is say is, you saw what I did initially. This one 5 volts did not power this. Now it is powering it through the Bedini setup. And you figure it out. If you want to, make me an offer. You can have this for yourself. Make me a good offer too, by the way. This took a lot of time and effort on my part to put this together. So, I'll shut her down, folks. There we go. There we go. Side of the circuit. And, so, uh, okay, folks. Good presentation.